Hey, what's up everybody? Josh Sampson here with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about our chakras and how energy flows within our body, how to balance it out, and how just things work. So our first chakra is located in the base of our spine and it is our root chakra. And what it does is it drives our primal urges like food, sex, sleep, and self-preservation. And it grounds and stabilizes us. So if it is blocked, you will basically be working on your primal, primal urges. You will always want food. You always be hungry. You always want sex. You always think about sleep, sex, food, and yourself. Self-preservation. That you're basically an animal, pretty much. You're an animal. You're not the spiritual being that you actually are. These bodies are primal, but our spirit comes in and balances it out. It's all about balance. So if your chakras are blocked, especially your root chakra, because that is the base of it, you are going to be driven by sex, food, sleep, and self-preservation. You won't be grounded. You won't be stable. You'll be an animal, basically. So that is our root chakra, and that is our first chakra. Our second chakra, located right below the belly button, the sacral chakra, is the adaptability, creativity, emotion, sexual energy, and unconscious. And it helps regulate emotion and desire. So basically, it helps regulate your primal urges, pretty much. And it and makes us so we are not driven by them, basically. What I said for the first one, these are different, but the same. Basically, so so we'll we'll start with something a little dark because we all like the dark sometimes, you know. Rapists, rapists. We're gonna talk about rapists right now. They act on their sexual desire and they don't think it through, so they're reacting their primal urges, and they're just taking what they want. They're being animals, and that is because their sacral chakra is blocked. It is blocked, so they are basically animals and think they can do whatever they want and don't have any common sense or respect. So that is the mind of a rapist. And uh, energy-wise, they are blocked sacrally. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start with that. But we'll, we'll lighten things up as we go. So the next chakra is the navel chakra, which is above the belly button, and it, it digests our food our energy and it digests our life experiences. Everything is energy. Me talking to you right now, you are digesting with your navel chakra my energy. You are digesting my energy right now. When people are talking to you, when you're listening pretty much to anyone, you take in that energy. You take in energy experiencing stuff outside, you take in all that energy, you digest it in your navel chakra. And it optimizes personal power, it navigates you through life with strength and determination. So it gives you the confidence for what you desire and what you want, and it helps you let stuff go that doesn't serve you energy-wise or positively. That is what your navel chakra does. Uh, I can kind of correlate this with, let's say, a real, like a relationship. When you are, when you first meet somebody, you are on the same frequency, and as you guys progress in your relationship, one of you, I mean, one or both of you is growing. Hopefully, both of you are growing so you stay on the same frequency, and you will keep that click. But if one of you grows, you lose that click. You lose that, that energy. Um, you lose it. And that's why people don't end up staying together. They don't want to grow together, so one grows, spiritually, mentally, physically, etc. And the other one stays down here, so they they don't vibe anymore, they don't connect, they don't connect. So that's that's what, uh, so you have to learn to let that go because it does not serve you anymore. If you are, so if you are going up and your partner is staying down, not progressing spiritually, just wants to party, just wants to kick it with the friends, yeah, stuff like that, um, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna be on the same frequency. You gotta have. You gotta find someone who is on the same frequency. If you like to party, if you like to go out and drink, that's all you like to do. And you, you will find someone who likes to do the same thing. But as soon as you stop liking to do that, and they like to do that, then it's not gonna work, right? You're not on the same frequency. 
So that is the navel chakra. Learn to let things, it helps you let things go that don't serve you. The next chakra, which is our fourth chakra, is our heart chakra. And it is the home for the higher self or your um, spiritual being. It is pure love. It is pure peace. It is bliss. It is openness. And it helps us to love unconditionally, basically. Helps you to love unconditionally and just love everything and just love every experience. Someone's being mean to you, you're still like, oh, it's okay. You're, you're in a bad mood, it's okay. You'll, you'll get better, man. I still love you. Even though you're being mean to me, I understand that you are battling with yourself on the inside, so it's okay. Everyone, ref it's, life is a reflection of the inside, so when someone is being mean to you, someone is talking shit, someone is doing something like that, they're battling something on the inside. So don't get upset. Just be like, just send them some love, maybe they'll help, maybe they'll make their day because they're battling something. That is our heart chakra, unconditional love. Our throat chakra is the next chakra. I bet you guys can't guess where that one is located, the throat. It helps us find our authentic self and it helps us speak the truth. If it is blocked, you're gonna be talking some nonsense and talking about stuff that doesn't matter. Frankly, a lot of this materialistic stuff does not matter. And when you're talking about it all the time, you are going to be blocked and you're going to maybe feel like there's something you're missing and that is because you don't have balance with your throat chakra and you are talking gibberish, basically. You gotta find balance. If you're talking about Kim Kardashian all the time, you're gonna be unbalanced. You gotta balance it out spiritually and in reality. Like in reality, you gotta balance your spiritual being with your primal self. Basically, you gotta you gotta find a balance. That is our throat chakra, which is our fifth chakra. Our sixth chakra is our third eye, located where if you had a third eye, if you were a cyclops, it would be right in between your two eyes. It is the seat of the mind, the unconscious, the conscious, intuition, vision, prophecy, imagination, inner and knowing self, and yes, assurance. That is your third eye. It, it basically is in charge of your emotion, emotions, your spirituality, and your mentality, what you think. And yeah, it's all connected. That is, that is the, the third eye chakra is your most important. It basically opens you up. It basically opens up the spiritual world so you can kind of download it into your, your brain. Um, yeah, it's your intuition. It's your gut. I mean, so your gut, your uh, sacral and your navel chakra is connected to your third eye and your uh, the next chakra I'm going to talk about. So I'll talk about, I'll talk about the next chakra first. Your last chakra, your seventh chakra, is the crown chakra, is the doorway to pure consciousness, is the doorway to our Lord and Savior, is the doorway to the universe, is the doorway to pure energy, is the doorway, right here. And it is enlightenment, and it is self-connection with everything around you. Connects you with all the animals, all the trees, all the living things, all the insects, all your homies and your enemies. It connects us all. That is our crown chakra. If that is blocked, you are going to be disconnected. Which a lot of people are. They're all disconnected. And that's why they be chopping down trees and shit. They don't care. They don't care about animals. They don't care about any living thing because they are disconnected. They are unbalanced with their crown chakra. So what I was saying before, your gut... Your navel and your safe, safe, yeah, yeah. Words are hard sometimes. We all, we all know this. Sacral and navel chakra is connected to the third eye and the crown chakra. It's not your ear. I didn't my ear. The crown chakra. Um, it is connected. So your third eye's intuition goes all the way down, 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 down. You get that gut feeling. When you have that gut feeling, you're like, oh, it's like, wait. What am I supposed to do today? And your gut is telling you to go to the gym, but your brain is telling you to sleep in. Your gut feeling is always right. If your third, only if your third eye chakra is open, if your third eye chakra is closed, then your intuition is gonna be off balance and it's gonna tell you some shit you don't wanna do. And you're gonna be like, oh, Josh said my, my gut feeling is right. 
But yes, only if your third eye chakra is open. When everything is open, the chakras are your energy wheel. Just keep spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. Spins all day. It's always moving. You're always moving and vibrating. So is your energy from within. It's a wheel. It goes around. But if it's blocked, it's going to go, it's going to get stuck. It's going to be like, shit, what do you know? It's going to just bypass that one and go to the next one. And if all your chakras are closed, Lord help you, um, start opening them. I mean, you, everyone has their chakra at least a little open. It's very, once you get 100% of all your chakras open, you'll be, I don't, I mean, I don't really know. You'll be, I don't, I don't know, just godish like pure bliss. Everything's gonna be amazing. But that is the goal, to open all your chakras and get all your energy flowing. Everyone has a certain percentage of their chakras open, but you can open as much as you want. And it, all it does is progress you spiritually and energy-wise and connects you more and more and get your thoughts and everything in organized and balanced. So if any of these are unbalanced, it is going to cause a problem. All your problems can be solved with your chakras and your energy and how it goes through you. That's how you solve all your problems. Your chakras, meditation, yoga. yoga. Yoga is the best thing you can do for your chakras and your mind-body connection. Yoga, yoga is it. So, yes, those are your chakras. And start meditating, start maybe looking into them a little bit more. That was basically a summary of all your chakras, but there is more to them. But I didn't want to make an hour long video. Just wanted to simplify it. I hope this video helps you and get your chakras in line, okay guys? It will, it's going to make your life easier, everything's going to flow naturally. Thank you guys for watching.